Okay, welcome back everyone. This month we're going to take a look at three new maths tools that have come out with the latest release of Two Touch Workbook. If you haven't got the latest release of Two Touch Workbook, then head to twotouch.com. That's T W O T O U C H dot com and have a look under the Buzz News Center and there should be a news article there explaining how to download your copy of the latest Two Touch Workbook. Now, three of the new tools, three new specifically math tools that have come out, I'm going to highlight today. Um, if you can't see them on your screen like I have up here, then head to View, Toolbars, and select Edit. The first new toolbar, is tool in the toolbar I should say, is the ruler. You click on the ruler and here it appears. To make the ruler longer, just simply click on the edge when the double headed arrow comes up and slide along. You can also change the thickness by doing along the bottom there. As you can see it comes out with pixels but you can change the settings to centimeters and put in your own scale. So say I want that to represent five centimeters, simply put five in there, press G whatever that means and there you go. I want to say make it larger, 55 centimeters. I put 55 in there. Tap the G button, and there you go. You can pull it all the way out to 130, 135. Great way of using it for a scaling tool. Now, And the first tool I want to look at is the ruler tool. So if you click on the little ruler icon, it'll appear on your screen there. Now, to increase the size of the ruler, simply take the cursor and you see the double-headed double arrow, pull it along, and you'll obviously change the size of the ruler. Likewise, the thickness, just pull along the bottom. Now, as you can see, the default is set to pixels, which kind of silly, so we'll set it to centimeters instead. Now, this part here is where you can create your own scale. So, if I want that line, that there to represent 5 centimeters, I simply click on the box next to scale, next to scale, press 5, tap on that little button G for some reason, and there you go, 5 centimeters. I can pull it out, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, etc., and decrease it. Likewise, if I want that to represent 55 centimeters, 755, press G again, and there you go. I can start to pull it out. Fantastic there if you want to use it for scale work. Now, if I right click on there, it's holding your finger down on the two touch screen, two touch board, you can make the uh, ruler vertical like so. And back again. And that is the new two touch ruler. Second math tool I want to look at is the protractor tool. Click on the little protractor icon up here. You get your little protractor bar over here, and to use it, simply click on your screen and pull. And that gives me a line out here, which is on, if you look in the left hand box there, zero degrees angle. As I move it up to there, 90 degrees, 180, just like you're normally using a protractor, and around the bottom here. 27 etc and 360 before coming back. So if I want a 40 odd degree line, I leave it there, let go, click apply, and there's my line. If I want to do another one, simply hold down again, pull, and let go. If I don't want to use that, I simply select clear. Now you just exit out, and there's my 40 degree line. The third tool is the Protrack, is the compass tool, sorry. If you click on the little compass icon, you get your little compass menu, and you can start drawing your perfect circles. To do this, click where you want the middle of the circle to be, then the length of the circle, hold it, and draw around in a circular fashion until it joins up, let go, click apply, and there's your circle. 
We exit out. We have a movable circle. Easy to use. And those are the three new math tools contained within the all new version of Workbook. Thanks very much.